Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joe from Waterman TV and the Next Gamer Network and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to dispute a copyright claim. Now, there are probably a few different ways you can go about doing this, but being the researcher that I am, I have found the easiest way to do this and I know this from personal experience because recently I got a copyright strike and um, I do consider myself an expert on copyright. I've done a lot of research on it and uh, here at the Next Gamer, um, we're very careful about uh, copyright. And so this happened to me earlier this month in November. I got a copyright strike when Black Ops 2 came out. And so I did a little research and I was able to find their contact information and I emailed them directly. And because I did that and I think the way that I worded my email and everything and I had good evidence that I did not infringe on copyright, um, they emailed me back and they agreed to retract my, my copyright strike. So what I wanted to do today was share that with you guys and let you know exactly what I did and what you can do to do the same. So <clears throat> let's get started. I have in my browser, um, this here is a website. It's Directory of Service Provider Agents for Notification of Claims of Infringement. This is actually where they keep all the documentation of all the companies in the United States where they actually filed a copyright claim or, or filed a uh, copyright license. And so, um, for example, we're going to go down here to, I'm going to find Microsoft and uh, let's see, I had this saved I thought, okay. So basically, you want to go through the list and find the company that gave you the copyright strike. So here is Micro, Microsoft Corporation. You click on that, and it'll bring this form up. This is the actual form that they filled out where they applied for a copyright license. And if you look closely, You'll see the name of the company, Microsoft Corporation. You'll see their address, the person who deals with their uh, notification of claim infringement, their phone numbers, and the email address. So if you got a copyright claim or copyright strike from Microsoft Corporation, then you would find them on this website and come to this form and then you would get their email address and their information and this is who you would contact to dispute your copyright uh, strike. So once you've done that, <clears throat> you want to compose an email. Now I have an email saved here, and I'm going to leave a link for this uh, document for Mediafire. And it looks just like this. This is what I've wrote, and I did not just make this information up in this email. This email is worded very carefully. You can change the wording um, depending on your situation to accommodate you, but if I were you, I would stick to the main verbiage of this document. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's very detailed. All you need to do is fill in the, the appropriate blanks with your information and then email it to the address that you find um, on that website. So I will include a link to that uh, below the video. But basically, um, this, this is where I got that, that, uh, that information from this website here called Chilling Effects. And basically you want to answer all of these questions or include the information that they have here. And this is where I got my verbiage, and that is legal verbiage, basically, um, and it's going to give you the best chance of disputing uh, your copyright strike. If you want other information, you can go here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this is um, the copyright page for YouTube, and this basically covers all the copyright laws, anything that you need to know for YouTube. And these... Uh, these laws and policies basically are, you know, go worldwide. I mean, this is not just YouTube's policy. These are laws written, you know, by the government for copyright. So 
you can carve this in stone. This is the real deal. So if you want to do any research for copyright on your own, this is the place to do it. And there are many different tabs here, and you can find lots of information on copyright. Um, so yeah, guys, that's that's basically it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Um, you just you'll go to your channel settings page on your YouTube channel where it shows the copyright strike. Once you see that, you will you will see the date and the video that uh, was uh, infringement or what that you were accused of infringing with. You'll do a a, a screenshot of that of that page and include that as an attachment in your email. And so when you send them your email, be sure to include that attachment and any other uh, screenshot that you think might uh, lean them in your favor to make a decision. And like I said before, I got a copyright strike with Activision for my Black Ops 2 video, which I felt was uh, completely uncalled for. And so after doing the research, I... Um, put together that email and uh, and sent that to them and within just a couple of days they responded and they told me that they would in fact retract my copyright strike they would contact YouTube and so it worked uh, beautifully and so I wanted to share that with you guys I hope you find this video helpful all the links will be in the description below the video let me know if you need any help I'll do the best I can to help you um, this is Joe with Mortarman TV and the Next Gamer Network, and we'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.